So, you know, the trial is based on a very promising trial that I led a few years ago, and what we call it a phase 2A trial in patients with diffuse cutaneous systemic sclerosis. So the initial trial was in a small group of patients with an eight-week randomized placebo-controlled trial, where we saw very encouraging results uh, in softening of the skin, in improvement in the function of the patient, and the drug was very, very safe. So with that exciting, promising data, we are launching a trial and we have already randomized the first patient, so very exciting time, where we are taking 300 patients around the globe because it's a rare disease with early active disease and inflammation with diffuse cutaneous systemic sclerosis who meet the trial eligibility criteria. These will be randomized in three groups, a low dose of the eight to five molecule, twice a day dose of eight to five molecule or the matching placebo for a period of one year. Now the primary endpoint is the change in the forced vital capacity. Forced vital capacity is an FDA approvable endpoint for lung fibrosis or interstitial lung disease. And we are hoping by the mechanism of action that I told you, and also highlighted that lung fibrosis and internal organ are the leading cause of mortality in this patient population, that we will slow down the progression and hopefully, in some patients who may not have it, prevent inter interstitial lung disease from happening. In addition, I truly believe that the drug will have a disease modifying effect. So we have very carefully chosen the secondary endpoints such as softening of skin, improvement in hand function, improvement in quality of life to get a holistic overview of the disease and the impact of this drug. Now you asked me the question, how long will this trial take? You know, it's a one year trial, it will take about uh, 12 to 18 months for recruiting these 300 patients. So I'm hoping in the late 2024, early 2025, we will have some data on this exciting target.